welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today episode seven of the career mode we are going to be getting a brand new series i've been debating on it which one i wanted to go with if i wanted to do the 305 sprint since we have 24k and we could actually upgrade it a decent bit or we can go with the pro late model and not upgrade it very much but i'm pretty sure you can get a lot more money in these regional races so we're gonna go ahead and struggle in the pro late model for a little bit and try to gain some money okay there's a lot of races 21 races in a season that's quite a bit so um did i did download lima land finally didn't know like that the store in game was broken and stuff you had to like go to the microsoft store and download that so we'll have that on the schedule now and looks like we're gonna have a lot more on the schedule with a bunch of fantasy tracks and everything like that as well for the pro late models here or we can go half third or pro late model license tracks so i think first uh I think first season i'm just gonna do all 21 no let's see regulation we got uh half regulation i think i'm gonna do half regulation because 21 is kind of a long first season i think we're let's go half regulations do 11 races i think that'll be a good start there and um see where we go don't know if we're gonna have anything like that but uh we're we need to make a paint job so i'm gonna go make a car real quick and i'll be right back all right well, we got the car painted i really wanted to try to i once i saw flames that you could put on the car i kind of went with like a gordon scheme with the 24 that i'm already using and stuff it looks really good to me i really like it so should be a fun car for me to use there and let's see if we could upgrade this car any to start with. Engine, don't know if we'll be able to. No, engine is expensive. Wow, this stuff costs... A, the first engine is 73k. That is nuts. So you're definitely going to be able to make a good amount of money in here. All right, looks like we could upgrade the tires a good bit. I'm going to go with like the more expensive ones first just because... Don't think we'll be able to get all three. No, we can't. We can't get the uh, the other one, but we got the uh, two plus four performances, which is what I wanted to get mainly. So got the tires upgraded some. First event is Williams Grove. Haven't raced there yet in these cars at all, so it should be a lot of fun. I'm very excited to run these pro lay models and see how we could do this season. Don't have a sponsor yet. Uh, two races. We'll have our first opportunity at the showcase, which I don't know what the showcase is going to be. Let me double check. All the settings are the same. Yeah, expert, everything like that. And probably drop this down to 50% because I think these races are going to be longer in the pro lay models. Yeah, 20 laps for main. That's plenty at Williams Grove. So let's go see how this goes. All right. These things are a handful. This car does not handle very well. And we're not going to be fast at all, which I already knew that part. But... These things are so much different to drive than the street stocks were. Plus, this uh, everything's pretty far down. Nothing's like upgraded besides a little bit on those tires. So we're definitely going to be struggling these first couple races, I think. But I'm interested to see how much money we can make even finishing in the back of the pack right now. Because it'll probably be more than what it would be in the 305s. But this thing's very tough to get it to turn right now. We don't have too much engine to get down these straightaways. So I'm just like managing with what we can right now and try not to destroy the car. This race, we're not going to hit our goal most likely. I can get barely into the 20s. I think I ran like a 20.9 in practice once. That was it. Other than that, it's been like low to mid 21s. But these cars are even squirrely down the straightaway, which is crazy. Just through the whole center of the corner is really tight, but we're in a 21 four there. We're dead last. I'm not shocked by that by any means, to be honest, because we should be way in the back like that with how slow this car is by like three tenths. Jeez, we are way off pace, but it is what it is. We're get through this first one. Be towards the back, which I'm not shocked with and see where we can work our way from. Because we were like this in the street stocks as well in the first race. First race we finished dead last in. With nothing upgraded. Just going to do the best we can. This first season in the uh, late models are going to be rough altogether. Was able to slide up there into ninth. See if we can try to hold them off. Oh my god, they're just so far gone down the straightaway because we have no engine at all. The only time I can get it to rotate like that at all is up at the top where there's like actually some grip which doesn't make any damn sense. 
because through the whole center of the corner is just super tight and then once it actually hits the grip at the top it'll kick out trying to hold ninth if we can try to like pinch this guy down the straightaways and everything if possible Hughes is gonna get biased though there in one and two what do we have five laps we're on lap three I love this track on iRacing but very tough here for our first uh, performance maybe once we get the car upgraded and everything we'll run a full 21 season ra race season I mean 21 race season but other than that, that might be a few seasons away because how much uh, everything cost. That was a decent corner. We just have no engine to get down these long straightaways, which sucks uh, William Grove being the first race. That really is rough for us. But it is what it is. Getting very bogged down, getting sideways, which isn't helping anything. It'll just take some getting used to for sure. Took a little while to get used to the street stocks, but we got pretty decent at them. And now we're restarting down at the bottom. Finish 10th. Heat number four. We'll be starting dead last in the B vein. Just hopefully we can uh, upgrade a little bit throughout these first few races. And can uh, make it to the end of the season without being too broke. So we'll have to learn some new names as well for this series. Oh god, we got in the back of them. Walker. Some of these back guys we won't remember too much, probably. Some guys are getting together up there. I thought there was about to be a caution. Couple people slow up top. They're gonna have so much speed down the straightaway on us. Try to see if we can gain any spots out of this B main. While we're all clumped up here. Got two sideways there. We're in front of Walker, right behind Edwards here. Try to dive it in, slide up. Almost got into Artinez there. Edwards got back by us. We're pulling away from Walker, surprisingly. Really didn't think we'd be pulling away from anybody. If we just, if we can just not finish 40th, that'd be amazing. Because it'd be a better start than we had in the, than the street stocks our first year. But yeah, we're pulling away from uh, Walker back there, which is nice. Oh, Mar uh, that's not Martinez. It's Erickson. Okay. I'm like, Martinez is a different car. I think he was that orange one up there. Really had to let off to not run him over. Because the way I was entering the corner was really odd. Walker's starting to catch back up to us, though. It seems like we actually have like the same engine as him and just all about the run down the straightaway. Catching Erickson a little bit. That was a good exit. Lap 5 of 10. Try to slide up on him here. Slow him up with a slider. See if we can try to finish 18th. Oh, got the wall. That didn't help anything. Dang it, Erickson running the bottom, cut it off my line because I have a weird, weird, weird ass line to try to get any speed down the straightaway. Just with how little of an engine we have, might be able to get by Edwards, honestly. Getting in the back of him, I'm not trying to, but throw a slider on him. I think they both went under me. I think Erickson got to our inside. Try to cut them off some. see if we could try to catch Wheeler here in these last few laps but it doesn't look like we're going to because it looks like they have a little bit better of an engine than we do trying to keep it clean as much as we can so we don't destroy the car yeah our, our arrow is not great right now down at 70% because I keep right side in the wall keep nailing the wall down the straightaways Two more laps to go. Trying to keep the 17th position if we can. Okay, got away from them a little bit. Edwards might have thrown a slider on Erickson. Somewhat catching Wheeler there through that corner, but they pull away so much down the straight because I think they have a better engine than us. 
But this definitely has uh, started out better than it did in the street stocks, which is great. I'm very happy about that. Probably would have gotten the same payout for 37th and 40th, but it is what it is. Final corner, Williams Grove. First race in the pro late models. It's definitely a struggle, but got 37th, better than 40th. I'll take it. Not too shabby. But brand new car, brand new series for us. Uh, we will see who wins here in the A main as well. All right, trying to learn some of these guys' name. I know uh, Jeff Favigano's in here, which is guy from YouTube. Recognize his name for sure. Uh, trying to see Tyler Hudson. He's from iRacing. And don't know if I recognize... Oh, Blake Majulius, Alex Bergeron. A few of these guys from iRacing, like the Pro Series and stuff. Definitely recognize a few of their names, which would be pretty cool to see. Uh, once we start being able to race them more and really recognizing more of their names, that'll be a lot of fun. So started out 37th for our first race. How much money are we going to get? We got 8,400. So yeah, finishing in the back of these is going to get us more money than running like top of the like 305s and stuff like that. So that's great news. All right. Everything's worn out like I expected to happen anyways. Uh, next week is going to be where are we going to? Weed sport. Okay, that should be fun. Should be a good race. And let's see what we can upgrade. Let's finish out these tires at least. Get level three of that. And then what else can we do? We got 8,200. Probably should just repair our engine because we're definitely going to need to do that. And then let's see what else can we upgrade. Can upgrade a little bit of that and a little bit of that. But I think what should we do first? I think chassis might be more useful i feel like so i'm gonna just repair the suspension and let's just go with the expensive stuff and then fix that up for the rest of it so in our tires as well so we should be good to go for weeds for now got the car a little bit more upgraded hopefully we can do a little bit better than 37th all right, we actually hit our goal there with a 15.4, almost 15.5 when we needed a 15.6. Don't think we'll get that qualifying goal of a 15.3. That's going to be tough to try to get in 34th. I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll do our best here. I think we might be able to hit that goal of a 15, like almost six, if we can run a good lap. But with that chassis upgrade and the tires being fully upgraded, definitely feels better. I kind of have to enter turn three high to get the car turned down for a good exit off four. Hey, we, oh wow, we had a 15-1. I'm shocked by that. That's faster, a lot faster. Like four tenths quicker. Honestly, really shocked by that one. See if we can get any quicker on the second lap. About ran the same time. So that's not bad, 29th, wow. That was a lot better. I'm very shocked by that. It's heat one starting eighth. Don't think we're going to make it straight to the A main. Who's qualifying quick up here? Zach Owens. I think Daniel, did he just win the last race? I don't see. I think the six car Brian Carter did actually. So heat one starting eighth. We'll see if we can gain any spots out of this. We'll try to. See how it goes. Turn one at Weed Sports, always sketchy. Trying not to run Young over too much. Got to go high to get a good run down the front. Sorry for being on your left rear. Slide up on him. Oh, wasn't clear. I was not clear there, but luckily he gave us a break by checking up. Definitely should have been turned into the wall probably for that. But turn one at Weed Sports so weird. You, you kind of have to go in low to drift up high in these things. Trying different things in three and four to see if anything works. I think what I was doing in qualifying was probably the best I have. So try to keep that up if we can without smacking the wall. But if we could just finish like better than we did last week, I'll be happy with that. Just keep improving for this uh, few races. Ooh. Really screwed up turn one there. We got one lap to go. Need to not lose any more spots. Try to have as good of a B main start as we can. 
those five laps went by pretty quick there so he started eighth finish eighth i'll take that where are we starting in the b main we're starting in ninth okay we might actually have a shot at the top five for making the a main but i think that's gonna be super tough don't think we're gonna be able to get there but it will be a good try at least how many laps do we have 10 laps oh and i turned in way too early <laughs> luckily we didn't wreck anybody I checked up enough used the right side of my car to check up as well on somebody out there if you turn in a little bit too early and tur uh, turn one here it's real bad news oh they got together and we had nowhere to go oh that's really bad that's a caution <laughs> I don't know how much damage we got from that, but that was not good at all. We had nowhere to go for that. Could not get it stopped fast enough. They just blocked the entire turn one. We're probably gonna have a decent amount of damage, aren't we? Yeah, 50% already on the arrow and 80% on the engine. Ow. That's no good. That's gonna slow us down some. They're still hitting up there. Oh yeah, car's not wanting to act the same now. This is bad. We're just gonna lose a whole lot of spots probably from that. With our engine being as damaged as it is, as it is too. We're already slow, underpowered team. Engine getting 80% damage or 20% damaged really. Having 80% left is really gonna hurt us. Cause I need as much engine as I can to get down these straightaways. At least it's not as long of straightaways as Williams Grove is. A little bit of bumper cars there. Trying to stay off them as much as we can. Not making any friends out here by any means and I'm stuck on the wall. Somehow had a decent boost there. I thought he was going to slide up. I was trying to cross him over. But he did not go all the way up. Ooh, 66 there scared me. I'm getting all over the wall. What is our error at? 41. This is so bad. I'm trying to cross these guys over, but they're really not sliding up like I'm expecting them to. They're really keeping their line down there at the bottom when they're coming off the corner. Sorry, I'm trying to turn. Used them as a break a little bit, but I was really trying to get the car to turn. It just was not wanting to. We got two laps to go. So right now we're in the same exact position as we were for Williams Grove, which would be an okay payday for what we've been used to in the street stocks. Like finishing top five in street stocks, you got paid less. Oh, that's the turn one wall. That was bad. Okay, we're going to finish all the way in the back now. That hurt our engine even more. 60%. 24% on arrow. Nice. 24. I'm surprised we're not blown up yet. Final lap. We're going to finish dead last. That's rough. I feel like we had like a top 30 car. And then that one wreck really killed us. That one wreck killed us terribly. So who's going to end up winning in that A main? See if it was the same number 6 car or not. Was it them? No, Brian finished back in six. Zach Owens wins this week. So those are pretty much the top competitors here. 7,300 here at uh, Weed Sport. Maybe, but only maybe because it was the second race instead of the uh, season opener. All right, everything's worn out again for the most part. Two rough weeks in a row. Go on to week number three here. Is it the same where there's a showcase? Yeah, showcase at Kokomo again. Okay. This should be interesting where we can actually make a decent amount of money here and we can upgrade the car as well. All right, let's repair the engine. Uh, do I want to do I want to repair or actually upgrade this suspension or just keep going with the chassis here? I think the chassis was pretty good for us last time. I'm just going to upgrade it fully and then upgrade the rest of our parts full unless we can get anything here no we can't so repair everything else so we got chassis all the way up tires all the way up and it's interesting how this is a uh, level two not level one so that's kind of confusing but we got chassis and tires as high as we can get right now and onto the showcase hopefully we can uh do a little bit better
all right we got our goal in practice and if we hit that exact lap in qualifying that'll hit a, our goal position of 34th here but these showcase races have 60 cars which is absolutely crazy so hopefully we can at least make it to the b main that would be my goal here i'm, I'm kind of running it the same way we did in the street stocks where it's a lot up top and i'm already hitting the wall that's not helping us trying our best try not to get it too sideways a little slow there it's already a better start to this second lap i think we will hit it with that lap right there oh just barely just barely hit that 869 i think we needed uh eight like 98 or something like that that was super close because uh 34th was what 12994 i think it definitely wanted us to get in the eights though yeah i don't know exactly what it wanted or we need oh we needed an 869 that's what we ran i think or that's just the time we ran i don't know but starting heat number three here top five advance to the a main oh wait there's only um there's only four heats so maybe there's the same amount of people as normal for these showcases that's weird the street stocks 100 percent had like 60 people those, those showcases are nuts in the street stocks. But let's see if we can get this top side rolling while nobody's up here. Because I was pretty decent at that in the street stocks while nobody was running the top. And now people are starting to go up here. So we'll have to venture somewhere else. But we're already up to seventh. If we can make a, if we can make a showcase A main, that would be a lot of money. Because showcases usually pay out more anyways. And we can get our first sponsor after this one, after this showcase is done. Ooh, almost got in the wall. Thought I overdrove the exit of that. Oh, damn it. Definitely overdrove that. Got the rear end into it and the front end came around. Did that hurt the engine? No, it just hurt the arrow a ton. Fell back to eighth. One lap to go here just slid up a little bit too much in one and two that last lap and that hurt all our, all our arrow so we fell back to eighth i think is where we started at so that's unfortunate it is what it is we're slowly trying to get better here though b main starting 11th see if we can uh work our way up there i think it's top five is going to make it to the a main once again since there's not yeah top five since there's not as many heats and everything I'm kind of shocked because uh, the showcases usually were absolutely nuts with 60 people, which is a lot of fun. I do enjoy that in the street stocks. I don't know if it's just because it's our first showcase or what it is. I don't know what it is about that. Just try to keep the car clean. As I say that, I nail Watson. 78% arrow already. Try to go low on Matthews here. somewhat slide up not really be able to cut them off try to get to that top five if possible but right now we're in like a top 30 position overall which is great if we could finish top 30 that'd be awesome for our first showcase and kind of see what we have for kokomo later in the year if we do have kokomo Got into the back of him because I was way too sideways. We're fighting for seventh right here. Don't hit the wall. Just a little bit. That wasn't too bad at least. But definitely hurting the arrow more and more. It's at 62 now. Our engine's at 89 actually. I didn't realize we hurt the engine. Probably when we got in the back of Matthews or something. I'm losing the handle on this car now. Definitely need to get better at handling these things, but the more we upgrade the car, the easier it'll get. This car just doesn't have a whole lot of grip to it in general. Back up to ninth at least. We have, what, three laps to go? But it looks like I can still rip around the top here, which is a lot of fun. So that's good. Hopefully we can do pretty well at Fairbury because that was our best track in the street stock. So we finished like fifth and fourth in two straight seasons and at that track. So hopefully we can do well in the late models there too. 
trying to fight for this ninth spot. One lap to go. Ripping around the top. They're really good at the bottom in one and two. Might be able to get them here in three and four. Oh, not quite. We're going to finish 10th. So that's going to put us right at 30th. At least that was a lot better of a finishing position in the first two weeks. I will take it. Finishing 30th. Who's going to end up winning the whole showcase here? Once it lets us get through. We're going to go up. Who won it? Who won it? It was Jamie this time winning. Zach Owens finishes second. So he's doing pretty good starting out this season. Where was uh, number six car? Brian Carter finished back in 16th. That's rough. So we're in 27th because we haven't made name in yet. Zach Owens is in 23rd. He must have really struggled week one because we uh, this time he got second. He won the second week. So don't know what's going on there. Uh, Jake won uh, the first week. It looks like he's eighth overall and Tyler Hudson's winning the season at the moment. Oh, I thought Brian Carter won the first week. Who who won? Other than that. Jamie won this one and he doesn't look like he is a full-time driver because he just has 150 points in this the first race he's been in it looks like so so far after three weeks Tyler Hudson is winning and let's see what kind of money we get out of that finishing 30 13,000 exactly that's great that was really good payday for us that's awesome those showcases are worth a lot of money all right we got about 14.5k almost and we're gonna get our first sponsor which is great what is next week gonna be grant park which i i, I enjoyed that track in the uh, street stocks and stuff but initial payout we're gonna get 6100 every race we're gonna get about 6000 as well so we're gonna have almost 20k here to mess with and uh upgrade the car a little bit i think i'm gonna go with top 30 it seems like sign of the regional sponsor and career nice so i think i'm gonna go with top 30 payout per uh for one race uh 1600 i think that we could get that and then if we can get that perfect well well if we just get that in general we're gonna about to 12 1300 so i think we can hit that at grant park hopefully and we got a new what unsigned agent what are you oh the best sponsorship stuff okay that's good uh what can we do for our parts I think we can just uh, fully repair that. I could get a new set of tires, but I don't think it's worth it yet. So I'm just going to upgrade those or fully repair both of these. And our engine, I think, is going to need a little bit of work. And same with the suspension. The suspension will be about what? Uh, three, six and a half, seven, eight. So that's about 8,000. And then I can do still do a little bit to the engine as well. So let's do that. Let's fully upgrade the suspension here and then i think we could do one upgrade to our engine here yeah we could do the 8000 one for the most performance and durability at the same time which would be useful and then we can repair the rest of it up which would be good so we're gonna have 3200 to start next episode with at grant park race four of 11 well i'll probably still do the same thing while i try to get through the whole season in the three episodes so the next two will probably have four races each because i'll go through four to eight and stuff like that because what's the schedule we have grant park prairie view then lima land which will be the first time we'll be there and then the showcase at eldora will finish out that episode and then probably finish it out kenyan Fairbury, which I'm excited to go to that. Interstate 50 or 84. Sorry about that. 84 have not been there yet. And then ended off at Port Royal for a showcase. That will be a fun showcase. First place price 45k. That's crazy. What is it, Eldora? 40k? What was it last week? 35. So yeah, it like slowly went up each uh showcase. So that should be fun. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the career mode. And our decision to go to the pro lane models. I really wanted to try to build up some money. And then we could throw that back into the street stock. Try to win a championship there. And I wanted to get into the regional uh, place. I'm probably going to move the Circle Lake paint store logo to the back. Like the rear of the car. Like where it's that black empty spot over the flames. I, li I like that area a lot more for that sponsor. So probably going to move that. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the career mode. Appreciate you guys for watching as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.